Do you have a favorite boss battle in a video game, Tucker? Oh man, like of any game? Yes. Oof. 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 That's you a tough Bayonetta, one. Bayonetta, right? Do you like some of the bosses yep. in that? Yep, the bosses are crazy in that game, and that's awesome. The um, the sniper wolf battles in oh, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Those are good times. Pretty much all of the boss battles in that game are pretty. Yeah. Pretty alright. Yeah, the Metal Gear series, Metal Gear Solid series, has some pretty sweet bosses. That's for sure. True. Uh, for. I feel like the, I don't know, like half the bosses are good and half of them. Yeah. Dude, the spoilers. The part where you're in the Metal Gear and you're fighting the other Metal Gear. Yeah, that is really ah! sweet. It's so cool. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> Oh, can't jump on those. Mm -hmm. Gray Fox, I don't think, is a great fight, but... No. Not, not entirely. What's your favorite boss um, of all time? I don't know. Favorite that is a boss. good question. I don't know if I have one, to be honest. I have a lot of ones that yeah. I like a lot. Like, yep. Metal Gear Solid 3 has some cool ones that I remember quite a bit. Yep. Uh, uh, trying to think of which one. Ornstein and Smo are pretty awesome. What's that? From Dark Souls, the From dude, Souls? the big dude in the little in uh, in Orlando. That one sucked. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I had to grind for like fight, though. thirty minutes just so that yeah. I could have enough health to right. stay alive longer than like That's two like hits when from the that. game is like, are you good at this game yet or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Those guys suck. I mean, yeah. if it's just one guy, I can block and, like, take my time right. and get my blows in when I got to. But when there's two of them, it's just, like, <laughs> they're destroying me. But that's why it's awesome. I don't know. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. That's a series that does bosses really well. Yeah, they do do really good bosses. They're really freaking huge and scary. Yep, they're intimidating. And, like, bosses usually aren't really that intimidating. Yeah, that's true. But they should be. Yeah. Like in, the, well. like in the Zelda series, I always started out feeling like really vulnerable to like all the bosses and everything like that. Yeah, but, but now, now it's, it's just kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like, well, I'll pattern. hit it three times somehow. Just got to figure out how yep. to hit it. It's got an eye that you have to hit, and you hit the eye, and then end the story. Get a piece of heart. Yeah. You're a full heart. I'm sorry, not a piece. Yeah. You're a Straight piece, up Tucker. Full heart. A piece of something. A piece a of work. Last piece. Do you feel compelled to get the pieces of heart in the Zelda games? Uh, not really. All right. Because you. you need like four of them to get a piece or to get a full heart. Yeah. It's like when you're trying to get the third of the four, it's really, yeah. there's not a lot of motivation there for me. Oh, dang. Can you not bounce on those things? What's the deal with those things? <laughs> like they don't have blades on the top. <laughs> It's like the fifth time that question has come up. I know, they don't have blades on the top of What was of that? How did you just die? I was just being reckless. I ran oh. into the little okay. orb thingy. On my stream it looked weird because it looked like you killed both of them and then oh, you stopped. Oh, did it? Yeah. Anyway. Have you ever played Beyond Good and Evil, Tucker? Yep. Yes? Yep, I beat it. Okay, um, I guess you still Fairly really recently. Oh, really? Did you play like the HD version? No, no, uh, no. I played the PC version. Okay, yeah. I just uh, didn't end up playing it until uh, it would have been sophomore year of college. So yeah. So like a couple of years ago. Did you like that game, Tucker? Um, I was a little underwhelmed because of how praised it is. Yeah, how much you've heard about it. Yeah, but it, no, it's fine. It's a cool game. Yeah. I just expected like this grand adventure and it's kind of kind of small in scope yeah. and kind of it's a, a little Zelda. more linear yeah linear i mean feeling. the the style to it and everything is awesome yeah and the story is cool and i really like the whole atmosphere of it and whatnot yeah absolutely very cool game yeah i'd say so i liked it a lot when i played it yeah and that's the rayman guy right what's that I believe that's the Rayman creator. It might be. I haven't looked into it. I know. Oh, I don't know. I'd have to look. Oh. All right, these stupid jumping blocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> these things are the bane of my existence. 
Yes. You know, while I was playing Rocket League today, I just kind of okay. sat there and was thinking yeah. to myself, so I'm yeah. playing these online matches, and they're not okay. ranked, and okay. I'm just playing them yeah. for fun. Okay. But I'm also leveling up, which kind of makes yeah. me feel a little better, but not really because it doesn't do anything other than let me play with better people. Okay. And I kind of just sit there thinking, what's why, why am I playing this? I, Chris, what are you talking about? Like, what Lost. what am I what am I going towards here? Because it's a video game. I guess, but like, <laughs> what am I going towards with these multiplayer games that never end? They're fun. Yeah. <laughs> I Can I spin so. into these things, Tucker? Yeah, you're supposed to jump on them. <laughs> oh, sh sh shut up! Oh my gosh, the same spot. Can you not oh, spin into them, and can you not jump on them? I, don't, Are they I think invincible? you can jump on them. You should try jumping on them. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure that'll work out for you. If you, if yep. you like square it up. No, just right? try it again. Really? I don't think you did it right. Yeah, you got to jump on them um, slightly better. Slightly better. Yeah, just. Uh, that makes me feel better. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I feel like they poison the well by putting in the progression things. You think so? Yeah, because now if they don't have them, it feels like, well, what am I, what's the point? But if yeah. you didn't have those in the first place, that wouldn't be an issue because you wouldn't have that mindset. You would just play it to have fun. Yeah, that's true. Or to prove that you're awesome. Mm -hmm. I guess so just I sometimes I get sick of games. Sure. It happens. It happens. Sometimes. All right, Tucker, should uh, I try jumping on this one? I don't know. You should probably jump on that guy. Why? That didn't work. <laughs> oh my gosh. This game is a load of baloney. Seriously. Like, are these guys invincible? Are those guys invincible? No, you can jump on them. Are you sure? Yep. Tucker, I, I feel like you're being... I'm a crash expert. Really? Yeah. Are you sure you can jump on those No, guys? it's fine. I feel, I feel like you're just wanting no, to... No, no, no. Yeah? No. Yeah. Ah, oh, Tucker. <laughs> I'm here to help. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, I want to see you beat this game. Yeah, obviously. Do you? Yeah. That's an achievement. Are you a fan of the PlayStation controller, Tucker? Yes. Yes. Many people your are not. What's that? Many people are not a fan of the PlayStation controller, That's and I understand that. I think the Xbox controller fits into your hand slightly better. Yeah. Um, but I think it's much worse quality. I think the D-pad's terrible on that thing. Yeah, it is. The D-pad definitely feels super low quality. Yeah, the analog sticks are really cheap on it. They, like, start to lose, like, uh, like, mine drifts. Oh, really? How long have you yeah. had yours for, Tucker? Uh, it's been doing that for forever. Really? I've had it for a long time, though. I mean, obviously, eventually, uh... your controllers are gonna wear out and I understand that but yeah it just feels like every Xbox controller I've used <laughs> it's like the analog stick drifts on it really which is a bummer um the DualShock 4 is yeah. like one of my favorite controllers I think that's okay. a fantastic controller yeah um the touch screen's kind of stupid or the touch pad or whatever mm -hmm. I definitely like to try one of the new PS4 controllers because of like the the indented analog thing and whatnot, I feel like that would fit yep. in my hands a little better. It just feels really, really good. Does it? Yep. Like all the complaints I think people have about the DualShock 3. Mm -hmm. What have I got? I feel, I feel like it fixes those because it's a larger, or it feels larger. Does it? Yeah, it feels really good. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't like the Wiimote. I don't really like the Wii U team pad. Yeah. The vibration on it's really chintzy. Yeah. You can like hear it like vibrating. I yeah. don't know. It bugs me. It is weird. Like, should this thing even be vibrating? Or just I know, right? It, it doesn't feel like it should. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's gonna break my controller. Yeah. But like what you said about the Xbox controller, you said that yours broke early on. I've had like, um, well, like my brothers have had like, I want to say somewhere. Around like six PS3 controllers. Oh sure. And I think three of them, the analog sticks, just lost all their yeah. slack. Right. Which is just an awful feeling. I hate that feeling so much. 
when you're trying you mean to push like you an just analog. push it forward yeah and, and then like... it doesn't come back oh that's awful. Or there's and there's one that's okay but it's off kilter like it's oh. constantly going up and right so oh, if you like yep. want to sit still you're going to be going up and right that's basically what my xbox controller is like at this point oh really yeah it's a bummer but you know yeah i know that goes and then uh the original xbox controller the giant yeah the, the huge one the big i love it block do you one of my favorites yep because i that? have large hands oh do you so it actually built just for works you really well yeah i don't know no it's it's nice yeah like if you had small hands i'm sure that's a terrible terrible <laughs> controller yeah but uh also oval oval buttons is not a great design choice but yeah you know did it have and oval the, buttons it did and it had the black and white buttons yeah i remember of, like, those instead of starting select it had like back and forward or something yeah like. that's not a great it's not a great scheme for tucker <laughs> no not really but then they had like the xbox they redid it the s or whatever oh yeah that was a pretty good controller i don't know i haven't used an x-bone yet no I can't say I have either. I haven't used an Xbox One or a PS4 yet. Yeah. I have yet to get my hands on one of those. I'm guessing gonna... you're leaning towards PS4, Tucker, if you had to pick yep. one. Yep. <laughs> yep. I don't really care about Halo. Yeah. That seems to be the main reason to get an Xbox One at this point. Right. I can't really think of anything else. Sunset Overdrive, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I need Japanese games. The Xbox does not have Japanese games. No. Ergo. It's getting Dark Souls 3. That's yeah. kind of Japanese. <laughs> sure. That's like Western Japanese. Yep. I guess. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. One thing well, that I've so understood, it's... never understood, is who decided what is like West and what's East on a map. Isn't it just basically Japan is East? And everything yeah, else like, is west. like Asia. Yeah. And your Asia is east, and then like we're the west. Like how? Like a, who decided this? A Russian game would be west, right? Oh, would it be? I think so. Really? Are we talking in terms of game design philosophy? Yeah. Uh, like categorization? Yeah. Yeah, I would consider a Russian game west, Western? West. Interesting. What are some Russian games? Is Metro, is the Metro franchise, are those Russian? I want to say... they take place in Russia. I don't know if they yeah. are Russian. Isn't it like Cryostasis and... There's not a lot of big Russian yeah, <laughs> uh, games that I can think of. Tetris? <laughs> that's Western. Yep, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Like the best thing to come out of Russia since vodka. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Absolutely. Was vodka invented in Russia? Or do they just really like it over there? <laughs> I have no idea. I had a beer yesterday and it was really bitter and I didn't like it at all. Really? This yep. just in, Tucker does not like beer. Someone call CNN. No. Or wine. I don't think I like alcohol. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Did you beat it? Yeah, I did. Nice. One more level down. That one was a rough one, though. I died several yeah. times. Plus, you missed three boxes. I mean, come on, man. 